Like you watch movies with kings, like you see the king, you see the queen, you see the soldier though. The finest sword, the finest wares, you know what I mean? Because that nigga gonna spill blood. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's how it was like it was cool, but you know, it happened in the end and like 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 I'm telling you guys my life so you understand where I came from. Like I'm not just like these corporate in bodyguards, even though I'm in a corporate, I came from the streets. Some yeah. bodyguards are ex-police, they're ex-marines. I'm ex-street. You know what I mean? And I think the ones that come from the street has a clear understanding. Cops kind of, though, because cops deal with the streets. But I'm actually from the streets. You know what I mean? So there's a major difference. You know what I mean? So... How does your life change, man? Like, once you got down with CTE and started, like, working, like, full time with Jeezy, man, as a bodyguard. You know what I mean? But, like, it's just simple. But I came up, I started doing clubs. Um, I had an experience from home with pistols, so I was fearless already. And um, I found this job online. I read between the line. It was, like, um, unbelievable job opportunity. Call now. I was on Craigslist. Um, but it wasn't just, like... Cause I watch some people criticize the story, like, oh, look where it was. Like, nah, Craigslist is gold. You know what I mean? Sometimes your blessings is found in the simplest of places. Cause wisdom is found in the simplest of places. And I had wisdom. It said, whoever conceal a weapon and travel out of town, call now. It was All Star Weekend Saturday in Orlando. I knew that was a rapper or a, a, a celebrity. Somebody wanted muscle, so I called it. But I was overqualified, concealed, I got a legal license, they concealed, the sharp shooting. Bam, the guy was like, oh, you got the documents right now? I said, yeah, I got them. And he came down, did an interview, and he was like, um, it's young Jeezy. And um, I didn't went to Orlando with him. The next week I went on a tour. It's a world tour. So that was my first tour, my first client, young Jeezy. So the guy approved it, but do you actually meet with Jeezy before everything's a go, or you just go straight on the tour? Straight on the tour. I actually met Clem first, because Clem was like a doorway to Jeezy. Like, you could've just walk in the back of Jeezy and Clem be like, hey, what's up? Like, you know what I mean? But that's his job, though. You know what I mean? So I really met Clem first. I met Jeezy, of course, because we got going to go on the stage. But, you know what I mean? Um, take what you call it. I remember Clem, I met Clem. Clem was with Jeezy, too. You know what I mean? And Clem, you know, they gangsters and it's different type of gangsters. A gangster don't always have to be a person shooting a gun. A gangster could be somebody just keeping the fucking G code all the way, every day, all the time. I'm just saying, and you have that respect. You know what I mean? And so I had a respect for Clem too. Like, Clem was cool. You know what I mean? But the job was for one person. So picture me working from the islands. The guy that hired me, he hired two of his friends. So he was never rooting for me to get the job. They was like, the job is open for one person. But they took us on a tour. You know, it was like a test run. See, he gonna manifest. He was rooting for his other dudes. And I'll never forget it. I used to stand up by myself. And everybody used to watch me. Because I, I don't move with the crowd. You know what I mean? I stand on myself. My mom taught me that. Only wolf, lime, and packs. I'm a lion, dog. So that's what draw Jeezy to me. Cause I was, I was Dolo, shout out my nigga Stone, cause he's from St. Croix, that's the other part, that's where Tim Duncan is from. You know what I mean, let's highlight the Virgin Islands some more. Alia Boston, who just went into the, um, the women NBA, she's from St. Thomas. And Tim Duncan is from St. Croix, my boy Stone, he's from St. Croix, so he had a love for me, being from the islands. So he used to look out for me, so he more became my mentor than the bodyguarding dude. You know what I mean? Because he was gunning for his friends to get hired. He didn't want me to get hired. So I used to roll dolo like I told you. I had my pistol on me. I got my mitts. I know how to carry myself. So GZ them used to always watch me. What do you what do you what do you mean when you say watch you? When I say watch, they're observing me. They watching. Um, cause we we the new security. So every fucking move you make, they watching. You know what I mean? Cause this is a gangster rapper. So it wasn't necessarily like Watching how you res respond to situations. Yeah, everything. They're watching everything. You got any manners, you got any respect. You know what I mean? They're watching everything. This is what gangsters do. The simplest of things going to tell me who you are. So that's why you got to be careful who you're entertaining because people are watching you. You know what I mean? 
You the oh a, a bum car. Can I have a dollar, please? We know you got over twenty bands in your pocket. Now fuck you, get out of here. That tells me who you are. You know, fuck how much time you gave a bum money. You know what I mean? You got twenty bands in your pocket. That's nothing. You know what I mean? So that tells me who you are though. The simplest it ain't always gotta be the big shit. So they always watch me because I was by myself. As much as you can remember, what was the experience, you know what I'm saying, when the first time you met Jeezy? And around what year is this, you know? Um, this is 2012 when I got a board in CTE. I got it right here too, by the way. Yes, got my CTE brand. It's official. Yes. Um, 2012, March 3rd, 2012, my, my, my conquest started as a bodyguard with Young Jeezy. It was cool, you know, he's a cool guy, you know what I mean? Um, and, and I don't know what went wrong though, or where we went left at, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, he's a cool guy, I really got close to him when, um, the end of the tour. And Clem tried to stop me, well not try to stop me, but Clem like, hey, what you want? I was like, let me holler at Young. Like what you want to holler at Young for? I was like, yo, I need to tell him, you know, thank you for the opportunity because I'm coming from a small island into a world of competition. They got thousands of bodyguards, but I was picked, you know what I mean? So it's a blessing and I'm, you know, embracing it, you know what I mean? So I came and I told him, thank, you know, like I shook his hand and I guess I gave him a good vibe. He was on the phone too, so I guess I gave him a good vibe. And then when I reached home, they called me the next day. They started doing studio. So work, I really, you know, after the 30 day run, I made the money, but yeah, the studio, and we started, I started meeting him in Atlanta in the studios. Patchwork, um, it's so much I don't remember, excuse me, but as we started on studio. What are you doing at the studio? The security, watching, making sure nobody walk in his um, session, you know, no bullshit, you know, just looking out for the bullshit. Or just setting the tone, you know, that's our job as bodyguards too. Not just to, you know, rah, 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 you know, but to set the tone. My, our job is to come and gather intel, understand what's happening around right now. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, if some don't know, that's your job. To disengage and to gather intel, understand what's going on around you. You know what I mean? Mm. Any uh, crazy moments when you was working in the studio with him? Like um, one crazy moment, I don't know who he was. Some dude tweeted on Twitter, um, I just seen Jeezy or some shit and he's moving scared. Some shit. And they call us, we came in and we went in his session and, and we made him take that shit down. And Jeezy like, take that shit down, nigga, fuck you talking about. You know what I mean? And you know security, we was there entourage too. And we was gonna fuck him up. But yeah, he twittered some shit, he just seen Jeezy and he's scary. Some weird shit he twit. But, you know, they be having people all over on Twitter watching Instagram, you know what I mean? People just be on social media looking. And people and the can shit share this drop, too, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And we in the studio oh, and we right. just seen the dude and, yo, we went to this fucking session. That's crazy. Yeah, we went to the session and he took it out and he ain't talking about shit. We don't fuck him up, you know what I mean? <laughs> just saying, you know what I mean? What about it, like any crazy tour stories? Like on, going on tour with him? Jeezy? Um, I don't get into too much detail though. We wrote a couple of promoters and shit before, you know what I mean? We wrote rapper, promoter, security, like you name it, you know what I mean? How to get in some asses, you know what I mean? I want to touch too much in it, but you know, it had more significant stories than those, you know what I mean? Those was like, it was like catwalks to me, like a regular day, you know what I mean? Eight to five, oil change, change the filter right quick, you know what I mean? Shit like that, so. You know what I mean? It was just like a regular day to me. You know what I mean? This is why you're here though. You know what I mean? You're the first call. It's like you watch movies with kings. Like you see the king, you see the queen, you see the soldier though. The finest sword, the finest wares. You know what I mean? Because that nigga gonna spill blood. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's how it was. Like, it was cool, but. You know, shit happened in the end, and like, 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 I'm telling you guys my life so you understand where I came from. Like, I'm not just like these corporate fucking bodyguards. Even though I'm in a corporate, I came from the streets. Some yeah. bodyguards are ex police, they're ex marines. I'm ex street. You know what I mean? And I think the ones that come from the street has a clearer understanding. Cops, kind of, though, because cops deal with the streets. But I'm actually from the streets. 
You know what I mean? So it's a major difference. You know what I mean? So how does your life change, man? Like once you got down with CTE and start like working like full time with Jeezy, man, as a bodyguard. Things, a lot of things change, like, you know what I mean? The good, the money, the bodyguard, like you said, you asked me if it was like lucrative, like, yes it is. Once it's making sense though, you know what I mean? By the time I'm, I graduate, I stop hustling, this is the first corporate job. Um, it was fucked up, but you know what I mean? I, can't, I got work where I get to, I get what I want. I was getting 150 on tour. 150 a day? Yeah, which is supposed to be more, but our average Joe is not making that. Some people are making, you know, I'm at the point I'm making five, six hundred a day. I'm making what people are making a week in a day. You know what I mean? By the time, it was weird though, but the bodyguard nigga, the whack ass nigga, he was taking off of us. You know what I mean? That's why it was 150, so Jeezy probably was paying more, but he was cutting out our pay, so he was taking something out of the money. You know what I mean? And then when I got, when I got in, I was getting $200. Um, and. You know, as we lead up, I'll tell you, like, shit they ain't changed. All of that, the money they ain't changed. Like, I, you know, as we get on, I'll tell you some shit that took place, but the money ain't changed, so it was time for me to elevate. How long did you work with him? I ran with GZ five and a half years. And you were stuck at $200 a day? Yup. Even after getting shot. Yeah. Man, so, like, shit. I know you said, like, some of the questions I asked you. I mean, as far as, like, some of the incidents at the studio and just generally speaking, you said those were, like, can't walk. Like, what's some serious stuff that happened? 2012 BT Awards. Jeezy and Rick Ross. You know what I mean? Take us back to that time. Um, and there's no shots to Rick Ross. Maybe if Jeezy handled his business, I wouldn't be speaking on these stories. 